what is up my peeps this is ben with that damn figure show and today we have a double creature feature well triple but you know technically these two are the same species so i just got two versions of it because i love army building with xenomorphs now these are the alien versus predator what requiem wolf and warrior aliens and i have to say they're fantastic i have some gripes with wolf uh especially well this is more like um an error on myself when i got the email that these figures were and i thought it was the you know regular masked wolf but it ended up being the unmasked when i opened the box i was like shit anyway but he should be coming soon i hope i hope big bad toy store gets him in um very very soon uh i'll put a video for that as well but these figures are fantastic. Like I said before in prior videos, the aliens from the AVP series in general, whether it be Requiem or the first AVP, the Xenomorphs, in my opinion, are the definitive Xenomorphs that you want to get. You can get whatever you want, but in terms of like durability and imposing, you know, how imposing they are, these figures look fantastic. I was also eyeing that brown xenomorph from uh alien resurrection that one also looks like it's going to be a good one to get i'm thinking of getting it for the channel as well and seeing how it is but with that being said let's get into it i already have all their accessories out um the one on the left has the action hands or crawling hands and the one on the right is the default hands that it comes with in the box and wolf has his uh spirit finger hands and his relaxed hands and he i have him automatically with his uh gripping hands and i have all his accessories on him so i will show you that right now so so this is how uh, and, and by the way everyone he looks fantastic um hyatt toys is just home run after home run with how these figures look and and actually how they feel it feels sturdier than the others um than the first wave of of predator stuff that came out a few years back so good on you guys um he looks amazing he comes with his combi stick he comes with his whip that doesn't unfurl which i wish it did i wish it was uncoiled that would have been so fun um to have but um i'm glad it's there it's a nice uh accessory piece that looks aesthetically good on him he also comes with his ninja stars he has his two gauntlets and one of the gauntlets has his little wolverine stick going and what makes this guy a little different from the others is that he came with um two plasma casters and if you guys saw the movie one of them he got from the wreckage um that the um the hybrid caused and he had his regular one as well so he just attached it for double damage and just look at how the detail of that they did the eyes so well like I, if you guys didn't know uh he's blind through one of his eyes and uh, which makes him even more badass because he came dolo by himself to planet earth to get rid of a, a xenomorph outbreak so that that thought that was pretty cool he is my favorite um uh yaucha from the predator movie lore in general um and i have a feeling he's based off ahab from the comic books because uh ahab um looks similar to this guy if you guys don't know who that is please uh look that up on youtube you'll love it it's from the comic book so it looks fantastic so both all the figures they look they're aesthetically they're they're just they're just amazing um and for army building purposes i got two xenomorphs like i always do and honestly though like maybe i should have got more but that's fine because i have three of the avp ones one of the one of them is the grid and i think these are enough and just the paint is different from uh the other xenomorphs from that film and so is the head sculpt so it just looks it just looks fantastic you'll see in the when i do the size comparison when i use the avp how how that looks the only thing is too you could open the mouth it does open uh it opens really wide but the sub mouth the mouth this mouth uh, i'm having issues taking it out like you could tell it does oh there no it does come out it does come out a little bit i don't think it comes out all the way like the other ones because i think people were complaining that it just falls out and i'm okay with that i'm okay and by the way that jaw opens wide you could put him like biting shit i cannot wait till the hybrid comes out well i'm saying hybrid the the pred alien 
can't wait till the Pred Alien comes out because that's going to be sweet. If Wolf and the Pred, Pred Alien get to Big Bad Toy Store at the same time, I'll do a double uh, creature feature with, with those two. So I love how the jaw is. The jaw is perfect. It, it, it's it's aesthetically is just is just amazing, and, and um, it has the same mechanics as the other uh, xenomorphs um, that came out in AVP, and I love it. I love it. You could unhinge this. You could unhinge this to get him to crouch and, and stuff like that. You could put him together to make him stand stand straight up. Uh, the only gripe I have is that the head actually doesn't move that much which is fine, and if the head was able to go all the way back, sometimes I feel like just trying to see how much I could push it back without breaking it, because if he could look all the way up, you could get this guy to do to be a crawling alien. No need to release a crawling version of this figure, because it's, it's already perfect. It doesn't even have that weird fin in the middle that stops it from looking up. But I have to say, it's, it is amazing, folks. It is amazing. So this, oh, the joints are awesome. Everything feels great. And and I did not have to warm this up at all. You should. Um, do not do as I do. If when you get these guys, they feel a little stiff, uh, take a, a, a hair dryer on low heat and warm up those joints. And because you don't want to snap because I do hear horror stories on these things snapping. So it's very, very articulated. And also, I learned a little from the promotional pictures and stuff. I learned how to stand these guys without them falling. You just have to tuck their dick, oop, I mean their tail. You have to tuck their tails in um, underneath them and they'll stand perfectly, um, which I'm gonna change up my, my collection so I can have more space for them. It is a bendy wire, please be careful. Don't do it suddenly real fast because that's how you could break these things you know because all it takes is a little bit of leverage and it's it is a bendy wire so just please be careful but that looks beautiful just as good as the uh just as good as the avp stuff it looks amazing oh he's such a good figure such a good figure so let's let's move onward uh um, wolf fell and dropped most of his uh his stuff so we're gonna have to pick him up and go over his articulation as well. So let's take all his shit off. All right, so everything fell off of him. Um, my only issue with him, uh, aesthetically he's fantastic, he's perfect. Uh, he looks great, it, it's fantastic. My only issue is his uh, proportions. His proportions are off. So it seems like from the torso up, they had the right idea. Everything looks proportioned. But then when you get to the legs, it's like, what happened? What happened to his legs? His legs are so short. Like, they look nice. They look fantastic, but they're short, stubby legs. When we get into the size comparison, I'll show you guys um, on that. And I wish they would have made this a little bit more proportioned, because then he would have been the tallest, which he is the tallest in the movies. Um, it's the Jungle Hunter... Is Jungle Hunter and Wolf are the tallest, and then uh, all the other ones are. Uh, the Super Predators are taller as well. Um, super Predators are awesome, but yeah, the, the Super Predators are also tall, so they fit in in line with with the height. They would have kept those legs proportion um, lengthwise. Oh, he would have been perfect in any collection. Oh Jesus, look at that. Oh my God, he looks fantastic. Anyway, let's go over the uh, articulation. Let's do. T position he got the splits he looks fantastic I also have to say I like this skirt out of all the other ones because it doesn't hinder the legs as much it still does hinder it but not as much as the other one because you couldn't really do this with the other AVP ones because uh, they would get in the way I mean if you heat it up you could get away with it but like and you know right here you really notice how stubby those legs are from this position but yeah that's my only gripe with it is that the legs are, are too stubby and as you can see he does a t pose uh just fine um he has uh well this leg doesn't have the armor hindering so much so let's just show you guys you can kick about that much and the skirt stops you as you can see that little that little crease right there stops you from um bending it all if that wasn't there i'm pretty sure he could do a big boot big boot your mother 
and, and stuff like that. He's he's fantastic. As you can see, he also has his uh, little uh, torso uh, belt that has all his ninja stars and has all those things that he threw in the tunnel that have the sensors and the lasers that cut things up. He also has his get rid of all the evidence stuff, the little blue goo that disintegrates uh, organic matter. That was fun. That was really, really cool to see. Um, he has a double knee bend and it's it's perfect probably one of the best things they they could do um wow that's a really good bend um he does have some movement in the ankles you could tech yeah you could just go side you could swivel it um he does he does have ankle rockers a little bit uh but the uh sculpt is is hindering that which is fine um he has torso movement as well which i love very good torso movement and his head, let me move his canvas. Oh, and unlike the, the AVP, um, Celtic and um, Chopper and Scar, the Plasma Casters hold their position better. Uh, so he could look up a lot, but he can't look down too much. You're going to have to like tilt him forward, his torso forward to look down on your human characters. Uh, he looks side to side, perfect look side to side uh also i think you could yeah you could give him the little cane head tilt which i love doing that with my figures ah oh, he looks fantastic uh just in case i didn't show the back too much this is how it looks and that is perfect it's perfecto ah oh, so cool so 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 cool i want to get into a size comparison with the figures i'm gonna move all their stuff um and I'm going to use uh, the exam. Oh, yeah. Another gripe I have is, uh, I mean, it's not too crazy. You could kind of probably do something like that. I, mean, I don't have the tool to do that. You could probably Dremel uh, this out. I wouldn't want to do that because I like how the uh, sculpt looks here. There's an indent here like, he's, like he should be able to go in, but it doesn't. He can't go all the way down. Um, it's all right. It doesn't bother me too much. Um I just feel like it just adds to their imposing, you know, stature. Um, wow, it looks nice. Um, I'm going to start the size comparison with um, the other stuff in the line that came out for them so I could show you what I was talking about, about the legs. So let me get this here. Oh, these look cool. Looks amazing. So let's start with... Celtic, uh, battle damaged, uh, Celtic, and I have to say, it's magnifique. And right off the bat, you could see what I'm talking about with the legs. Now, um, if the legs were at proportion with uh, these legs, he'll be slightly taller. And uh, he's already slightly tall, as you can see, but that's because the torso the neck, the neck peg, and the head. It, it's higher, sits higher on the uh, on the shoulders, just like the Jungle Hunter. The Jungle Hunter, his neck peg and the neck is higher on the shoulders than the previous release, giving them a little bit more height. Um, but if those legs were in proportion, oof, you have, a, you have a nice, tall, lengthy predator. And that looks fantastic. You could, you could, I love how this Xenomorph looks next to Celtic. That looks fantastic. Um, so let's go with, um, just so I can show you guys the difference, we'll, I'll show you the AVP part one Xenomorph. And, and I have to say that looks, that looks fantastic. It pairs wonderfully and just so we could do this fairly, uh, let's show the showdown. So it's the same. It's the same sculpt. The only difference is, is the paint. And this goes to show you what a paint job would do. Like if I were to uh, paint this guy, this one, if I were to paint him a darker gray and then give him a black wash, he would look just like him. But I like 
that they're different like this. I really, really like uh, the head crest is amazing. I love that. I, what I thought was slick was like in <laughs> Alien One, a, the first Alien movie. This is how the uh, that's how Big Chap's head looked, but it was more translucent. And then in Aliens, they looked the head, the crest looked just like this. The little banana head looked just like that. So I thought that that was a very good homage to pay to the first films. I don't know if anyone noticed that, but I dig that. I really, really love that they that they went for that. I think that's fantastic. So we're gonna go on with the next comparison, but uh, Wolf is, he's, he's very back heavy, so, cause he has those two plasma packs. So it's very hard for him to stand on his own. So just bear that in mind. Um, the Usually the alien, um, usually the predator stuff stands perfectly on their own, but not, wolf you could get him to stand but um let's keep this in line with you know the predator stuff i'm going to show you guys my favorite first edition of the Haya toys these are how the predators scaled when they first came out and i still like them i still like how these look um i still use them in my toy photography uh i still have them uh, on my little desk trophies and I love it. He he pairs lovely. I, I love it. I, I don't care. In the comic books, there's different size uh, predators anyway. So uh, he's he's in line with that. If they were to do a volume two, just like they did with Jungle Hunter, and they released all the Predator two stuff, I would freak out. That would be. I would still buy that. You could take my money. All right. Uh, let us show uh, the one who started it all, the Jungle Hunter. Uh, the Jungle Hunter is a big boy. He's a big boy, so he's gonna scale fantastic with your with your xenomorphs and your other predators in the line. So he looks good. It's a little blurry, so let me make sure his face is pretty. Yeah, looks fantastic. Of course, that scales perfect. All right, onward. Uh, let's start with let's do a joy toy. Uh, my favorite, a lot of people's favorites, Rigo. So this is how Rigo fares next to. Uh, the xenomorphs again any of the xenomorphs that you get are going to pair great with your joy toy and acid rain stuff they 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 have so many different sizes of of xenomorphs that uh it's just going to scale fantastic no matter how you slice it and that looks great and and um i think a lot of people might say that wolf looks very nice next to this joy toy and rico is one of the bigger ones uh he's slightly a little taller than than the other joy toy stuff except for like um the assassin he's he's a uh, uh, slightly taller onward all right let's do acid rain all right boom acid rain Ah, oh, this is the mishaku narien pack that came out which i i do like again i've said this before don't need to say it again but i'm gonna um, not my cup of tea because of the proportions. I like them to look a little bit more real, but these are beautiful figures. Uh, Acid Rain is, is just, I think that Joy Toy nails the realism, but just the overall, um, feel and, and like enjoyment, it, it has to go to Acid Rain because, um, you could tell like they put a lot into it. I mean Joy Toy too. They do a great job. I like Joy Toy over Acid Rain um, But my god, this looks fantastic. Um, that's just me. Um, it does look good though. All right Now let us go with a Vintage GI Joe, which that's what they're calling it. Vintage a classic release uh, this is actually grunt from the quote unquote retro release that they have. And it does look nice, pairs good, it has a big ass head, big, almost as big as Kelsey's. And if this is your cup of tea, this is this is gonna work great for you. Especially the fact that um, he's just under four inches or four inches, so he scales great with just about everything in your collection. All right, onward. And let us go with, let us go with, Agent May from S.H.I.E.L.D. when she's on uh, Book of Boba Fett. I forgot the actress' real name, but I love um, that actress. She's fantastic. Um, this figure is very small. This is from the Book of Boba Fett. Uh, your local Target should have these. And um, Big Boy Collectibles has these. Uh, Big Bad Toy Store doesn't have this in yet at the time of making this video. 
um but it's a great figure it's a, it's a great figure um hope you guys enjoy that review yeah, that i think this is the one i released last week all right and uh let us do the marines from halo which these are notoriously hard to stand without their figure stand so i'm just gonna hold him up and these are like the best you could army build with this is a head swap from um uh grief i forgot his name but this is carl weathers the actor who was in the first predator movie uh nice i, I like you could buy a bunch of these guys army build and and it won't cost you much all right and to end this we will <laughs> this guy's not gonna fit but we will have my only um my only warhammer figure that i have i do plan on getting more especially the uh wolf pack guys that came out those are um them and and the military army green guys that they haven't announced yet but i'm sure they're coming i love the ogres too so stay tuned for that i do plan on getting some of the more of the warhammer stuff and this is how they scale and look uh uh these are not supposed to scale with each other um because the the warhammer guys the marines they're genetically enhanced uh they're about seven feet a predator averages about seven feet or higher so technically if Joy Toy were to ever get the license to do Predator stuff, I would shit myself. Cause can you imagine what they will do with those figures? They'll make them, they'll make them as wide as these Warhammer and as tall. That would be amazing. And don't get me wrong, Wolf is almost there. So that you could you could put that together if you want. Anyway, folks, oh, I had a blast with this one. Um, I hope you guys liked it too, felt the energy. Please leave a like. Um, and comment love talking with you guys um, some of you guys even friend requested me on Facebook, which was pretty fun um, So um, please enjoy um, this video um, Please be good to each other and uh, have a good day peace